Hi everyone, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical and I'm here today to do another one of our patient walkthrough result presentations. This is where we take a patient I performed a hair transplant on and kind of break down and go through their results. So uh, these videos typically have a theme and the theme of today's video is uh, really a, a natural transplant result and I want to kind of break that down a little bit. Um, of course, that's, that's always the number one goal with the transplant is everyone says, oh, I want it to look natural. Of course, you want the results to look natural. Who doesn't? Um, but there's another phrase that I've heard used as, as kind of an interchangeable adjective, if you will, to describe a hair transplant. And uh, that word is the word unremarkable. Uh, it's a word that especially my friend in uh, Virginia, Dr. William Lindsay, likes to use. Uh, he describes hairlines as, as unremarkable or hair transplants as unremarkable. And I think that sometimes that may sound a little negative, like, oh, why would you want an unremarkable result? But when you think about it, um, what it really means is, like I said, it's almost like a synonym for natural. You want to be able to look at someone who's had a hair transplant and just not even think about their hair. Just looks like a guy with a normal head of hair. It's unremarkable. There's nothing that stands out to you about their hair loss or their hair. It just looks like normal, nice hair. And I think today's result is a really good example of that, is a, a transplant that's just unremarkable. Took a guy who previously, uh, his hair loss was something that stuck out that was remarkable about him, did a hair transplant, and now it's unremarkable. Just a nice, natural head of hair. So uh, that's just a little kind of warm up here, uh, but let's jump right in and go through this patient's case. Okay, so patient is a gentleman in his early 30s who came and basically just said, look, tired of looking like this. And what I was describing before is that I think if, if someone asked you to describe this gentleman, one of the adjectives, unfortunately, you'd probably use is that he's bald. You know, this is a young guy who doesn't look his age because of his hair loss. He has a pretty advanced, I would say like a Norwood 5 pattern, and he just didn't want to look that way. He wanted to look unremarkable. So what we're going to do is a nice big rebuild of that frontal half of the scalp, do a big FUT procedure, give him a natural, appropriate hairline, and really just knock out as much as we could, try to bring him back to that unremarkable result. Um, had good donor area, a little bit of a difficult contrast between the hair color and the, the skin tone, uh, a little bit of a high contrast there, but uh, did very, very well. Went in, ended up getting uh, 3,982 grafts via the FUT, and you can see here just a, a beautiful case, particularly nice post-op there. Okay, so as you can see, this patient's surgery went beautifully. Very, very standard, kind of a bread and butter, uh, a big mega session FUT case, one that, that we do very frequently here. Um, but it all went well. So I sent this patient off, and I next saw him back about seven and a half, eight months after surgery. So not even fully matured yet, but about seven and a half, eight months later, uh, came back. And what I'm going to show now is a, a few images, a few just quick side by side images showing how he looked at eight months after surgery compared to uh, before surgery, and then we'll get into the video. So let's jump in and see if we turned the patient's uh, remarkable loss uh, to an unremarkable natural result. All right, there we go. So immediately it just strikes you as one of those wow transformations, you know, a lot of loss before, nice big thick mop of hair afterwards, very appropriate, very natural. This is what he was looking for. This is gonna serve him well. So now let's jump into the video here. The video is, is always great. To, to see this. Uh, and again, a little more of the same here, just with dry hair. And again, what I want to, to sort of uh, reinforce here is that this patient now just looks totally natural. If you saw this guy walking down the street, you wouldn't think anything of it. He's just a, a guy in his 30s with a nice normal head of hair. And that's what we were going for, an unremarkable uh, result. And, and, and that's, you know, as, as negative as that can sound, that's, that's what we achieved. And he's very happy, we're very happy. Uh, and I'm going to jump into the wet video here in a moment. And there are a few different things I want to discuss there. But as you can see, super pleased for this guy. Really, really nice results. So let's wet that hair and do our, our wet uh, comb through here. And now the wet comb through, a couple things I want to mention. First, uh, this is density from one pass. You know, so pretty darn good density there from just one pass. Also, like I mentioned before, uh, a dark, coarse hair type with fair skin, that's a high contrast. There are some things you need to do with the hairline to make sure you don't make it stand out, make it remarkable. Uh, I think we did that, and I think this looks nice. This is exactly how it would look if you just kind of jumped in a pool and pulled it back. Uh, mission accomplished here. Last thing we'll show is the FUT scar. Nice little scar there. It's still going to mature and improve with time.
All right, so I hope you liked the video there. Uh, as, as I was mentioning a couple times now, uh, you know, unremarkable. Uh, th th this is a guy who just looks great, looks natural. If you saw him walking down the street, you wouldn't think anything about him. And I think before, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, if you, know, you saw this guy and you were talking to a buddy or something and they asked you to describe this person, I think one of the adjectives you would likely use is, is a young guy, but he's, he's bald. Now, if you were to describe this guy, his hair probably wouldn't even you know, come into mind if you didn't know he had a hair transplant. Just the guy with a nice normal head of hair, that was what he came to see us for. Uh, I think we delivered for him and he's happy, we're happy. Like I said, he's only about seven and a half, eight months out, so this is gonna continue to improve uh, all the way through at least 12 months, usually 18 months after surgery, uh, including the scar on the back. That's gonna continue improving as well. That also remodels and improves for 12 to 18 months. So uh, I will update the YouTube community if this patient comes back. And um, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. As always, I am Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller & Bloxham Medical, and we will see you in the next one.